There are more details to that story on NEET on our website ibnlive.com. Moving on, the jet ethetar deal could land a body blow to Air India which has begun showing some signs of recovery after the government's 30,000 crore bailout package. But passengers could end up benefiting from it. Sonal Joshi and Priyanka Dubey explain how. The jet Etihad deal might have brought hope to India's struggling aviation sector, but it's rattled Air India. It's a double blow. It will have to fight the combined strength of jet's market penetration in India and Etihad's global network. The government has also increased the traffic rights between the two countries to 36,670 seats per week from the existing 13,300. This will eat into Air India's profitable Middle East routes. They had deeper structural issues in, in Air India on every aspect of their enterprise. This would, in the near term, completely wreck Air India. And there's more. Passengers flying to the US can now pre-clear American customs and immigration formalities before getting on the plane. This means when they land in, they just have to pick up their luggage. This incentive puts Etihad at an advantage. Jet Airways will fly directly to Abu Dhabi and give passengers flight options to over 80 destinations around the world. Middle Eastern carriers today dominate the Indian outbound market. Emirates alone commands over 50,000 seats a week out of India. Government's infusion of funds is linked to milestones being attained by Air India. And one of the key milestones is attainment of a specified load factor. Now when you take away Air India passengers and give it to Jet Airways, how will Air India attain that milestone? Air India is just recovering from a shock from a series of strikes and losses that had almost crippled the airline. The government's 30,000 crore bailout is there, but expected in small tranches till 2021. It still has a staggering debt of 43,000 crores. The Maharaja will therefore have to tone up, and the time is now. With Karma Paljor and Sonal Joshi, this is Priyanka Dubey.